Peace, love, and power to my black people. What's up, fam? This is a lethal black man, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about something that's on my mind. I've said this numerous times before, but it's I think it's important to repeat certain things because people need to get it through their thick head that we don't live in a world where we can sleep anymore. We have to wake up. You see, when I was a kid in the 80s, things like this were probably going on, like hatred and racism, I'm sure, because it's been since the beginning of time. But there was no internet back in the 80s, okay? We had computers, but not the internet. So a lot of these things that were going on behind the scenes or anything that was a racial motivated thing was either told to you through the media or you heard of it from word of mouth. Now we have access to the internet and all this other stuff, so a lot of people are getting exposed. But my generation, Generation X, we were very lax because... When I was growing up, we, we were living in a time where black people and white people were trying to get along. And as I grew up into a teenager in the 90s, they had this erase the hate stuff going on. Can't we all just get along with the Rodney King situation, all that stuff? You know, we had our incidents, but we had tried to understand each other as a people. So there'll be instances out there where you see interracial dating. Not as much you see it now, but, you know. It would never be promoted like it like it like it is now. It would be a natural thing if it happened, and people would still get shit for it anyway because the majority of black people did not agree with it, even though you think they do. They did not agree with it at all, and even now, when it comes to this, there are not a lot of people that agree with it because it's not. It's just not normal. It really isn't. And when I say it's not normal, it's not normal for anybody in any ethnicity to think that they should completely surpass or I should say overlook their own to go with someone outside the community it doesn't make any sense it's like I'm just gonna completely forget about all black women and go with a white woman as a black woman is gonna forget about all black men and go with a white man or a non-black man that doesn't make sense you don't see this is the thing this is what makes me hate it as I've told you guys before on YouTube when I discuss anything about racial issues if it be how police are racist towards us, how, you know, interracial dating is not good for us. If I talk about stuff like that, I'm already public enemy number one on YouTube. I'm public enemy number one in the black community because, believe it or not, even though there are white people that don't like me, okay, there are a lot more black people out there that don't like me because of what I say. Black men do not like me who love black, who love, um, who love white women because they don't like that I'm a black man that shows my love for black women. They always want to point out the bad things and the bad qualities that black women have, but they never point out the good ones. And I know who they got that from. They got that from Tommy. We know that already. Okay. He's the biggest black woman hater on, on, on YouTube. We know this. Then you've got a section of black women who have said that they've had enough of black men that they're going to follow Crystal and Karazin or other women on YouTube who have a hatred of black men and want to do better, want to level up, want to open up their options. The thing that you black men and black women fail to understand every time that you say shit like this is that number one, you're turning your black, excuse me, you're turning, I should say you're black. You're turning your black on the black community. Yeah, I'm going to leave it just like that. And it is really, and I'm using this word because this is a word that I feel, it's really disgusting to have an attitude like that towards your own people. As much as white people may have differences amongst each other and other ethnicities have differences amongst each other, they don't turn their backs on each other when it's counting. When it's time for them to be together, when it's time for it to count, they don't turn their backs on their own people. But... Leave it to black people to turn their backs on each other in a heartbeat. And I don't like it. And I know most of the people that watch me and listen to me don't like it either. My words don't reach the audience that I used to reach anymore because I'm not the old channel that I was before. I got all these subs and all these views. I barely get subs any day anymore. Anybody. People unsubscribe more than they subscribe. YouTube unsubscribes them or they just forget that I'm there. They don't push the bell or whatever but that's beside the point we know what's going on that's why i'm not getting the views and getting the attention that i got before and when i say attention i just want my message to get out and my message is not one of hatred my message is one of black love and black unity and love of black self nothing wrong with that but you know 
Nanya Business, who is a really cool subscriber of mine, and I got to give her credit because she's a millennial, and I'm not really into millennials that much, but I give her credit because I listen to what she says, and she makes a lot of sense. I made a video about FBI, the FBI talking about how black identity extremists were the biggest threat, and I said, no, the biggest threat is actually the mass shooters and racism. She actually has a point when she disagreed respectfully and told me that black identity extremists are a big threat. As I look at it from her perspective, and I'm talking still in what I'm discussing in the beginning of this video, when you look at yourself as a black person and you take pride in yourself as a black person, love your black self, you're not ashamed of your black skin, and you love your black women and you love your black men, you take value in the black community, that is a threat to white people. It is. They don't want you to be that way. They rather have us running around acting like the people on Love and Hip Hop. Where we are against each other every single minute. We're hopping around from bed to bed. We're fighting all the time for their amusement, for their entertainment. They don't like when black men show love to black women. They don't like when black women show love to black men. They don't like when we actually take care of our responsibilities at home. Meaning take care of our families, take care of our children, look out for each other. They don't want that. Why do you think there are so many shows out here promoting interracial dating now? They want to break up black men and black women. Now, some of you black men and black women have a hand in that because you're not helping the situation by participating in this ongoing gender war back and forth. And make no mistake, only idiots in the black community are participating in this gender war because the real black man and the real black woman don't have time for this bullshit. All they want to do is get out of oppression and get themselves liberated and love each other like they're meant to be. Like God intended. When you literally decide to step outside your community and step in the enemy's territory and lay with them, you've already made your choice on a battlefield. When you decide to excuse racism and say, oh, that was in the past, that's not now, you're forgetting your history, and you are not only forgetting your history, but you are disrespecting your ancestors okay black women there's a black woman that told me that black women can be raped by black men as much as she can be raped by a white man okay i've never disputed that i've never said anything against that i've said that that can happen because it can but the thing is i look at it like this not all black men are bad not all black women are bad None of us, by any means, are perfect. That goes for any race of people. Any, any ethnicity of people, I should say. None of us are perfect. But when we have a generation, and that's, it's not the whole generation, but the generation that has come after me now, there's a lot of them that grew up on this Disney channel. A lot of them see this interracial shit going on. A lot of them see these mixed couples, and they think that that's the way they should go. You got a lot of these young black men who want to be with white girls. They want to overlook their own black females for white girls. You got little black girls that grow up wanting to be with white men. Thinking white men are their Prince Charming. Because they watch these soap operas or these Disney channels or these movies. Where these white boys are with these black women. It's, it's really sad that the indoctrination, they can't understand it is the indoctrination. Because I was indoctrinated myself. And... You can call me weak if you want to, but the thing was, I didn't know any better when I was younger. The thing is that when I was younger and people were talking like this, like I'm talking now, or other black channels that talk about liberation and talk about black first and stuff like that, I thought those people were fucking nuts. I thought they were crazy. These militant people talking about, oh, this and this. Now, when they talk about kill this, and I'm like, I can't go there with you, man, okay? But I can speak on issues and... You know, be an activist in that way and speaking on things and empowering people and stuff like that. I can do that. I don't know if I'm ready to kill. I can only kill if my life is threatened. But I'm not going there. But I used to think these people were crazy. But as you grow up and you see experiences and you see what is really happening and how the world truly is, you start to understand those people weren't crazy. You just didn't understand it because you were young and naive. My mother shielded me from shit like that, okay? My mother knows this world is fucked up. I'm sure a lot of you people, your parents, and you yourself know this, these, this world is fucked up. I'm never going to tell you that black people are angels, that we're innocent, and we haven't done anything wrong. Because we have our crime. We have people that in our community that kill each other. But the problem is, 
The majority of all this hatred is always targeted at us. And we're not crying victim here. We're not crying victimhood. You know, the black people that tell black people like me that we should stop crying and pretend to be victims, we're not pretending to be victims. Tell that to the people who get killed for the ba based on the color of their skin by some white supremacist. Tell that to the little black boy that got shot in his own bed just the other day. Tell that to Trayvon Martin. Tell that to people who have put their hands up, black men and black women, Sandra Bland. Tell that to the black people who comply with the law and still lose their lives. Tell those people about black victimhood and they shouldn't claim to be a victim. Oh, you can't because they're dead. You see, when black people come to me or go to other channels and put comments on in the comment section about black people pretending to be victims or playing the victim, I tell them people they need to shut the fuck up. Because when a black person talks like that, they're talking like the enemy. You are an enemy if you go against your people. If your people are wrong about something, you have the right to call them out. But when you specifically tell black people they need to forget about slavery, forget about the past, and we should forgive these people for doing what they do to us, will you forgive them when they do it to you? Will you forgive those people if they kill your mother, if they kill your brother, your father? No, I don't think you would. And if you did, you must be one of the most holiest people in the world. I'm not going to lie, a lot of black people do have a lot of goodness in their heart because they forgive a lot of things they shouldn't forgive. I forgive too because I believe in God. But there are some things I'll never forgive. If somebody murdered my mother, I would never forgive them. I'm not going to say on camera, but <laughs> I'm just not going to say on camera. I wouldn't forgive them. Let's just, let's just leave it at that, okay? But this generation has interracial agendas pushing them. This generation has gay agendas and transgender agendas being pushed at them in schools as early as preschool. That is not right. I'm sorry. If you want to tell your children about that, you can do that in the privacy of your own home. But we should not have our children being pushed, this narrative being pushed on them at an early age. It confuses them. Bad enough we got... White people adopting black kids and having them dress up as girls now. Little boys dress up as girls. You got Gabrielle Union taking her son to some transgender. You know, I don't understand the black females when it comes to this stuff. And I'm not saying all black females, but black females complain about black men being gay. But then they support black men who are gay. And then they support having children wear, little boys wear, wear clothing that's for girls. That doesn't make any sense. This world is nothing like it was when I was a kid. I never had to worry about being screwed up in the head unless there was something wrong with my upbringing. There was something wrong in my household. As far as agendas being pushed to me, the only thing I, the only agenda that was pushed to me was me learning more about white people than learning about my own black people until later on when I did research when the internet came about. Because I had no care about that back then. I was carefree and idiotic. But when you grow up and you understand your people and you have a love for your people, you start to research and see all the great things they contribute to the world. If you don't have a value in your women and you don't have, a, first of all, if you don't have a value in yourself as a black man, you're not going to have value in your women. And if a woman doesn't have value in herself, she's not going to value anything else as far as a relationship goes. It'll never work out. I know the value of the black woman. That's why I hold her to a pedestal. I put her on a pedestal just like any other man puts their woman on a pedestal. And I get ridiculed for that. I don't even get a lot of love from my own women for putting them on a pedestal. But I don't do it for recognition. I do it because it is how I feel about black women. And the black men that ridicule me for loving black females and not loving white or Asian, I laugh at you. Because you're not doing yourself any favors by going with women that don't look like you or can't produce the same people that will look like you later on. All you're doing is bleeding yourselves out and destroying your bloodline. But that's what you want to do. It's your choice. That's why the world said it's free will. I can't get with that. That's, that's not my mindset. I can't do that. So this generation has a lot to deal with. And I'm glad that there are some in a generation just like Nanya Business who actually know what's going on have a love for themselves, have a love for black people, and stand up against racism and stand up against this white supremacy. I love that. And I love the fact that they're not falling for this bullshit interracial agenda either. I love when my people are actually smart and they get it. But the ones that don't are still out there teaching others not to get it either. 
and that is a problem so when channels like me or other channels are around and we teach empowerment we're not teaching hatred we're teaching love of black women love of black man love of black children racism is a real thing it's not a made-up thing it's real and if you don't think it's real that's your problem but the reality is it affects black people a lot more than anybody else we see it every day we're not whining about it this is not victimhood this is reality i'll talk to you guys next time